Come on, cat, we're going camping. You coming? What is the matter with you this time? I'll have to carry you then. Hi guys, Steve the Transit Camper. Baby's working again tonight, so I'm out doing another stealth cab. Cat's in the back. Don't know where we're gonna set up for tonight. There won't be much to see, it's pitch black. Anyway, we'll be cooking in the back of the van. I've got a few things to show you. Catch you in a bit. live stream tonight nice bit of entertainment a he's a good guy go and look at him mix mowers <laughs> I, I, I just put on James, James, James great fun account, don't worry about well there's my mustard as well i love that we're mistaken a bit well i was feeling all brave tonight i was going to go on uh, mick mowers live stream but yeah it's too full he's a popular guy and he's doing well fair play to him so we're having a guinness tonight we're on a private car park. I can't disclose where I am tonight. Uh, I just can't, so I'm not gonna. So um, you're not gonna see anything from the outside tonight. So it's just me, Cat the dog, and we're picking baby up in the morning at eight o'clock. So I uh, thought we'd cook a steak and have a nice night in the van. There she is. She was totally reluctant to come tonight. Don't know why. Doesn't want to do two in a row, perhaps. Anyway. She's all curled up there and she won't move for 10 hours until she smells my steak and she'll soon be up and she'll get a bit. So first up of the new gadgets is I bought this, which is just a very cheap tripod just to mount my phone. I do everything with my iPhone in 4K, although it doesn't look like that sometimes when you look on YouTube, but never mind. And I bought this light, which I've had to adapt just to screw on top, put a few washers under there. So that'll be a nice light setup with my phone so we can record us when we go on the big camp tomorrow because it's the haunted house tomorrow. Uh, so uh, I'm, I am nervous, I've got to be honest. I'll tell you the truth, I am nervous. Uh, Jace isn't, he doesn't care. So that's that. I'll put the, I won't put the link in because I wasn't accepted as a Amazon affiliate. Don't know why. Uh, I think I put the wrong URL in, I told you that before. So I've got that, but I will put a picture of it and how much it cost. And that was on Amazon. Let's have a look what else we got. So we're traveling light tonight. So I've got this Active Era chair and Jace has bought one as well. Jace has gone for the orange rib. I've gone for the blue because I do like my blue. So uh, they're just a simple stool. They take like 30 seconds to assemble. Absolutely brilliant. And we're just gonna sit in chairs basically and we're gonna travel light. So if anything happens, not that it will, uh, not from the spiritual world by the way, but from people that do go and have a look around this place because it's quite a popular spot for ghost hunters and all that sort of thing really. So if we have to vacate quickly, we can literally strip these chairs down in less than a minute, chuck them in the bag and we can be off. And they're really lightweight, they don't cost, they, they don't weigh anything to carry, so they're absolutely brilliant. So that's that, and I'll put the picture of that on there as well. And then there's these floodlights, I showed you that when I did the uh, garden shed camp. Super bright. And they've got a strobe on them, I don't know why, but super bright. Okay, that really lights up everything. So I've got two of them and they take six hours to charge. And they're really good. I'm well impressed with them. And it's got a dull as well. 
which isn't much duller to be honest, but it probably doesn't spread as well. And they, like I say, they take six hours to charge and you got quite a long life. I think it's five hours on the bright one, nine hours on the duller light. So how much time do you need? Got two, so we don't get in the dark. And then this is absolutely essential. <laughs> so this is a hip flask, holds uh, 300 mils. You get, how many cups do you get? You get four stainless steel shot glasses and you get a little funnel to put it in. So that's absolutely brilliant, that is. So that's gonna be full of either Jack Daniels or Bells. I prefer Bells, I've gotta be honest. Jack Daniels is, is overrated. It's, it's expensive, but it's iconic to have that bottle on the shelf. So that's why everybody goes for it, I suppose. And of course, Lemmy out of Motorhead used to always have Jack and Coke. So that's probably why I got into it. But Bells, it's, I think it's about 14 quid for a litre, whereas Jack Daniels is about 32. So, you know, there's a big difference there. And I don't mind it. I, I quite like Bells. The other one I used to like was Glen Fiddig, but I haven't had that for ages. What else we got? Ah, yeah. We bought this. I can't really read that properly, but it's spelled A N D Y S I N E. Andy Sinny? Andy Kine? I don't know. But anyway, it's a microphone. And I've got a funny story about that as well. So you get a couple of uh, stands that you can adapt to fit anything. And then you get the big fluffy get the big fluffy uh, wind thing for it and you also get just an ordinary standard audio one gives you a bit of tone and that's essentially it it's for an iPhone it's a bit dark in here isn't it it is actually for an iPhone and it doesn't use any power as in you just plug it in and it's plug and play so you don't have to mess about with batteries and things like that so all I've got to do is get a lead for it to be honest so I've got that lead, but it's for an iPhone. And it's got a 3.5 on the end. What? You know, if you're selling it as an iPhone, let's have the proper adapter with it. You know, why am I buying that separately? So I ordered one of them from Amazon at the same time. Didn't come together. And it's not going to come until after the camp. So I've got to go and pick one of them up at Argos tomorrow. But, funny story... I thought, oh, Tesco's, the supermarket chains all do stuff like that. So I'll order one off there. So I went on the Tesco's um, search engine for my local store, typed in a uh, lightning connector, I think it was, or iPhone connector, something like that. And uh, it came up with a couple of things, but nothing that was going to do the job. So looking down further, it said suggestions. I thought, oh, right, OK, it'll probably come up in the suggestions. Bananas. <laughs> Bananas. So I said to the missus, oh, they've suggested something else that's probably better for it. And she said, oh, right, are you going to go and get it? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, have we got any bananas in the house? She said, yeah, there's bananas. So I said, I don't need to go because that's what they suggested. <laughs> so I've ordered one. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow from Argos. So superb. And uh, I'll just try that out tomorrow. But the idea is I'll be able to film from a distance, you know, like three meters away and I'm going to bring the microphone in between us so you can both hear us because I have had some audio issues I'm, I'm quite proud of my audio so far but I think there is some audio issues now and again if I use that lapel mic it's okay but it's only only okay for short distance if Jace talks you can't hear him so I didn't I didn't appreciate that on my video to be honest so we'll just go with the iPhone mic tomorrow and we'll uh, try this as an experiment but i haven't got the extension lead as well i might call in somewhere tomorrow and see if i can get the extension lead and set it all up properly but it's unlikely for tomorrow and then i've also got this light which i've had for years really it's just an led light it takes three aa batteries the only problem is you have to unscrew the back to put the batteries in which is ridiculous but it's a brilliant light it's so bright so let me just show you that and that's just good to stay on for ages, 
you know, that'll probably do 10, 15 hours. It's absolutely brilliant. So it's just click on, click off. There's no strobe and all that messing about. So uh, looking good. So here's me showing you all my stuff. Gonna cook a steak. Having a nice stealth camp. Who should get on the phone? Karen Any. How do I attach a file to an email and send it? Oh my God, that girl. She's lovely, I love her to bits, but I must have taught her how to attach a, a file to an email 60,000 times. If I've got a bit of screen time off that phone call, I'll show you. It's hilarious. So with that all done, <laughs> as Polar Bear would say on his channel, go and have a look at him, he's great. Let's get to cooking. But the first job, let's get another can of Guinness on the go. Delicious. I am in a private area, so I definitely won't be asked to be moving the van. So. Don't have to worry about the old drink driving. I'm perfectly safe on this one. Get a bit of butter in the pan. You can see what sort of angle I'm parked at here. It's absolutely horrific. So when I get in bed, all the blood's gonna rush to me head. But never mind. Just gonna go for a bit of mushroom and onion on this and I'm gonna have them on rolls. Leaving one for in the morning. Bit of butter on them. And then I, I've saved one roll to have on my sausage in the morning. Beautiful. Just turned everything over. I'm not bothered about the mushrooms or the onions being cooked. Just a bit warm and a bit looser, a bit softer. That'll do for me. That's what I like, as you know, hot pepper sauce with everything. That's about done really, I think. I might call that. It is another messy one, so I'm not gonna let you see me eat this, but I'm gonna put a bit of hot pepper sauce on that and I'm away. Mm, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. Number two on its way. Cat's done very well with her bounty. I'll chop that up for her. And I've had everything out of the pan as I've gone. Nothing's wasted here. Mm. Can't even talk. Just need to concentrate on this. There she goes, nice bit of steak for the girl. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for saying thank you. She always looks up and says thank you. Good girl, you eat that. Okay, so Kat's gonna eat her rump steak. She lives a life, doesn't she? It's 
So tell you a little bit about what's happening uh, in the future. Going to be doing lots more stealth camps like this uh, in the van and also going to be trying to get out in the winter. Hopefully if there's a bit of snow on the ground with me mate Jace and uh, do a few stealth camps with sort of minimum gear, minimal gear and some with plenty of gear and just finding anywhere really. We're going to get a couple of hammocks we've been looking at. Jace will probably go for a £250,000 one that he's seen. Whereas I'm going to stick around a sort of 12, 15 quid mark. Because I'm not buying it, all this fancy camping gear. Yeah, it might keep you warm, but is there any fun in that? You've got to have a bit of fun, haven't you? So I'll be getting a 12 to 15 pound hammock. Oh, excuse you, cat. And uh, we're going to be doing that in the future. So stick around if you like what you're seeing. Tell your mates and uh, give us a little like and i really appreciate the comments if you can give me a comment that'd be good if you want to talk to me email me on that uh, email that's on my about page tell me whether i can mention your name when i'm discussing your email in a video if that's the way we're gonna go um, and that way you know it's just i don't want to upset anyone so that's what we're doing and i'm looking forward to doing it it's coming up for about 10 o'clock now, so we're going to hunker down. And uh, we've got nothing to record tonight, so if anything happens in the night, I'll talk to you. Uh, last time I spilt a bottle of pop you know, on, the du on the duvet, absolutely soaked. I soaked the one off the bed. Cat had to abandon ship, she had to move to the other side of the van. Nightmare. But uh, if anything happens in the night, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. Bedtime cat. Go on up to bed. There's nothing there. Oh, she didn't like that. Tiny bit of butter. Don't start licking my food. That's it. I'll have to move her in a minute to get all my uh, sheets out. She's off to bed. Look at her. Unbelievable. What a girl. Is that you, is it? You're comfy. <laughs> See you in a minute. I'll be coming into bed as well. So like I said, there's absolutely nothing to see on the cameras and I'm in a private location and I don't want to reveal it because I don't want any comebacks, I'll be honest. So I will show you what I can see from the front on the camera. So it doesn't give anything away, but it's pitch black. And this is the back view, which is nothing really. All right, so I thought I'd just show you that just to show that I am actually somewhere and not on my drive <laughs> no so uh, keeping it stealth big stealth one tonight this so gonna hunker down now like i said gonna get some sleep i'll see you in the morning oh his cat there she is look she's hunkered down see you in the morning Two o'clock in the morning, and that is the best sound ever. I don't know if you can hear that, it's pouring down with rain. I love it. Night. Good morning. Why are you shaking? It's not cold. <laughs> It was freezing gold last night. I didn't put the heating on. I thought, no, I'll cope with it tonight. Every time I use the heating, I keep leaving it on. So I use a full tank of diesel, which is a separate tank underneath the bonnet, which is a pain to fill, really. <laughs> I'm just lazy. That's why I save on fuel. Yeah, so uh, it's rained all night, which has been nice to listen to. But I've slept really, really well. Occasionally waking up when I can hear somebody emptying the bins at my secret location, which I still can't reveal, and I'm not going to. Uh, so this morning, I'm going to go and pick baby up. Uh, first job is we need to face the rain and let cat have a wee. What a nightmare. 
See you in a minute. Well, here I am, outside. Cat's having a wee already. She's not going to hang about, she said. Oh, it's freezing this morning. Hurry up, cat, get sorted. She's already had a wee. Right, let's get back in. That took just 25 seconds. I told you, she only wants to go out, grab the loot, and that's it. And then she'll find a place back in that duvet. And then she'll want to go home next. <laughs> I have left it extremely late to do my breakfast, really. It's 20 past seven, we've got to pick baby up at eight. So it's on the wire, but we're gonna do it. I had to come up with an ingenious plan to get my pan level. I'm sitting it on the side of the sink and tipping it that way. Otherwise, all the fat sits there. It's just a nightmare. It's the worst bank I've ever been on. You imagine that's the van, just like that. I think that's why I was bunged up this morning, because all the blood was in my head. <laughs> Got my last bath ready, all buttered, ready to go. We'll have a bit of that on it. Oh my gorgeous girl. Wait for a sausage. 7.25. Need to pick up the pace. Nearly done. Boom. Mmm. These are the best sausages I've ever bought. Really nice from the co-op. Bit of advertising there for you. I'm not affiliated to the co-op. My dad doesn't own it. My family don't own it. We've got nothing to do with the sausages. They're just nice. And of course, Do you want your breakfast? Come on then. Thanks, Dad, but they're a bit hot. See, she always says thanks. Well, we're back on track. Uh, I've got 10 minutes to get in the front and go and get baby. I'm not gonna video that. So I'm gonna call it for this one. Private location, can't reveal. You've been watching Steve the Transit Camper. Take care. <laughs>